Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB3547 oval sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 54 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge, and this is the large size of the sunglasses. Ray-Ban also does produce a smaller size with 51 millimeter lenses. But personally, for my particular face size, I definitely think I like these larger 54 millimeter lens size better. So these sunglasses are pretty much an ovular version of the classic Ray-Ban round metal sunglasses. Everything here is basically identical other than the lens shape. So they have these really nice all metal frames with absolutely beautiful etching here on the outside temples and around the lenses as well. They feature a single bridge design with again some more etching on there. They have all metal hinges which feel very premium when opening them up and when closing them. And they also do feature fully adjustable nose rests so you can completely adjust these to your liking and through those nose rests, we can see an etched RB logo. The coreway that I'm showing you in today's video is just their classic coreway with these gold metal frames and then the classic G15 non-polarized lens. These sunglasses are made in Italy and they're gonna say that here in the inner right temple of sunglasses. They just say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And they also have these really nice acetate ear rests which look really nice, they're a tortoise color and they look really nice and they feel very good behind the ear as well. Now, these sunglasses do have all glass lenses so they are very scratch resistant and they also have very clear optical clarity. Glass lenses are the best possible optical clarity that you can get. They are going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays as well, which is extremely important for your eye health. Of course, just like on every pair of new Ray-Ban sunglasses, we can see a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses for authentication purposes. And we can also see a little etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens. Taking a look at the single bridge, we can see they say Ray-Ban and then they have the lens size and the bridge width etched on the upper bridge of sunglasses and again that is also there for authentication purposes to make it harder for people to fake these sunglasses. This style of sunglasses first came out in the 1970s and then had a revival in the late 1990s, early 2000s. Back in that time period, very short and narrow sunglasses were extremely popular. We're kind of seeing a revival of this styling come back right now and that's why Ray-Ban re-released these Ray-Ban oval sunglasses. So probably the biggest downside of the Ray-Ban oval is the coverage from sun. So here up top, we can see there is a really big gap to sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, there's absolutely massive gap to sunlight in unprotected. This style, because of these smaller lenses and because of the fit as well, are just not going to offer very good coverage from the sun. So if the sunlight is coming in at an angle, you're definitely going to be squinting a lot, which is going to add to a lot of discomfort. These sunglasses are more about style than they are practical. If you're looking for something more practical, I would consider picking up a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers or Aviators or something along those lines. This style of sunglasses is more for looks than anything else. Overall, I would say this is a pretty decent pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. As far as pricing goes, you're going to run you around $150 directly from Ray-Ban's website. However, I'm going to leave a link description down below to Amazon where you can pick them up for usually a lot cheaper. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.